Massaged parlors on Kennedy Boulevard provoked an outpouring of responses. Many of you wondering why the city of Tampa lets prostitution prosper in plain sight. The former police chief railed against Asian massage parlors about four years ago after a prostitution raid on Henderson Avenue. But nearby Kennedy Boulevard is now home to 10 other spas, and police have investigated prostitution in at least four of them. Eight on your side investigator Mark Douglas joins us now. And Mark, why hasn't the city just shut them down? Well, that's exactly what some viewers are asking us after seeing our investigation, Stacy. Now, one businesswoman moved her store largely due to the prostitution problem next door. By the time former police chief Jane Castor showed up at this massage parlor raid on Henderson Boulevard four years ago, the working girls were gone. As the health department uh, worker came in the front door, a number of uh, females ran out the back. She blasted the business sex model. Sex acts for money. And declared her disgust. Human trafficking is the modern day form of slavery. Back then, Tina Slocum owned a consignment shop next door. After all the notoriety, Slocum moved her store. That must not have been good for business when that happened. No, it was not good for business at all. Slocum just watched our investigation of 10 Asian massage spas on nearby Kennedy Boulevard in disbelief. He says, I don't know how did they get away with it. We discovered three spas with histories of prostitution still in business, and a fourth one that recently changed hands. But why isn't anyone doing anything about it? The sexy garb Slocum saw in our story was like deja vu. And they had girls on the back porch in lingerie and young girls. Brandon Pierpont witnessed the same thing last year when he visited a Kennedy Boulevard spa to buy his girlfriend a pedicure. I, I walked in thinking that this would be a nice place. He walked out and called Tampa police. They busted the spa for prostitution six months later. Makes us look really trashy. And Four years after Chief Caster's high-profile prostitution raid, our investigation now has a lot of people asking questions. This is serious. You know, it's and it's been going on for too long. Tampa Council Member Guido Maniscalco insists he wants to put a stop to the city's seedy massage parlors. Now, this is an opportunity to uh, remedy something that's very, very wrong here in the city. <laughs> Four years after Chief Castor called it modern-day slavery, the search for a remedy to prostitution in Tampa's Asian health spas will soon be back on the city agenda. Because of our investigation, Councilmember Guido Maniscalco has called for a briefing from Tampa police on May 18th. So that's when we'll hear more about this. Well, and I think it begs the question, what do current police chief Eric Ward and Mayor Bob Buckhorn, what do they have to say about this? Good question. In a word, nothing. We've asked for interviews from the police chief and the mayor. They have turned us down repeatedly but we're going to keep asking questions i hope they're watching tonight because that shouldn't be a surprise we're going to stay on this till we get the answers all right thank sure. you mark and now to